I think that art and music are a huge part of shaping a society. I think that when people ask you to show them your culture, they show you the music. They show you the food, the dance. So these things are a really big part of our identities and what we share with the world. Music and art is also a place where we can imagine a future and that we can invite people into what that feels like, what that sounds like, what it tastes like, smells like. What is the future that we want to build and what do we want it to feel like? And art and music can be a vehicle for that. This is Movement Live. We bring together immigrant, migrant, and refugee musicians to share our songs and stories. Immigrants are powerful. They come from strong cultures, from ancestral traditions. They are contributors to society, and we need stories and narratives and art practices that support that. For me, Ethio Jazz is a perfect place to do that because through my own experience as an immigrant and refugee and you know, and, and also from the practices that I've learned from folks like Gashmulat Wastatke and things like this. In terms of the civil rights movement, a woman by the name of Bernice Johnson Regan, one of the freedom singers, she was on the buses in the civil rights movement, registering people to vote in the South in the 1960s, and the freedom singers were along on those freedom rides. And, you know, for Bernice Johnson Regan, what I've heard her talk about what I've heard her say is to sing is to announce our existence. So that is, you know, a space where we're saying we deserve to be heard and um, we're going to do it from this, from this place of a wellspring that comes from deep within us. Super the